Good afternoon and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 137, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern time. We are your hosts, Anton. And Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. How are you today? Great, thank you. How are you? Great. Um, well, as our listeners know, we give a tip in just five minutes. Usually we have something after the tip, but today we're going to flip things over. Um, and the reason that we're going to flip things over today is because today I want all of our viewers, our vast audience, to get logged into their primary development workspace. And they can follow along with us because we're going to ask them uh, or suggest that they do something in their workspace. Um, so while everybody um, is, uh, is logging into their workspace, uh, I'm going to tell a joke. Um, so this is our joke of the week. What you should be doing if you are one of our um, ones or twos of, of current viewers, uh, go ahead and get logged into your Apex workspace. Um, Marwa, are you logged into your workspace? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm logged into the same workspace as Marwa. So um, we'll be able to take a look at something there. So here's the joke. How many Apex developers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Um, I don't know. Can you tell me? Um, I see we have a couple. Um, I One from Neil Shear, none. It is out of scope. That's a pretty good one. Um, uh, we're very efficient, but not funny. Uh, that's what right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that. Um, but no, the answer is four. Three to write the PL SQL code to screw in the light bulb, and one to tell the others they could have done it declaratively. <laughs> okay. Wow. I like to be the person to say, oh, you could have done that declaratively. But this week, it happened to me the other direction. Um, and that is actually the uh, little bit of um, what we're going to talk about today. But anyway, um, so hopefully folks have had a chance to get logged into their workspace. Um, I'm going to go share my screen. I'm going to get started right away. And our tip today is that all of your tables with foreign keys should have an index on the foreign key. Every so, oop, let me get this kicked off. Every, every time you have a foreign key column, you absolutely should have a, an index that, that matches that foreign key column. Um, I can't tell you how often it is that I see, uh, that, that I come across performance issues and other issues that, that, um, that uh, are caused by not having this. So it's really easy. Rich Soul uh, has pasted, has created a great query. This is the query right here. Um, and so I recommend that everybody um, go ahead and run this query in your workspace. Um, don't do it yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get you there. I'll, have, I'll, I'll paste it in or I'll, I'll get this query to you. But um, I'm going to show you here. This is the query. I'm going to make a couple uh, changes. I changed DBA underscore to all underscore because I don't have access to DBA views. And then I added this where clause because I only care about the missing indexes. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And oh, I'm going to run this. And here we have three missing indexes in my workspace. And um, I'm hoping other folks will be able to make use of this. Yes, this is great, Anton. But I have another way to do this, oh. like declaratively. So let me show you. De how you're going to gonna take my query and do it de declaratively. Let, let me see how you do this. Yes. So uh, in Apex under SQL Workshop, uh, follow along for those at home. Yes, utilities then object reports in the section of exception reports we have an indexed foreign keys option menu and here you get the list of the columns that are unindexed i think it's the same result that you got with it the is query. exactly the same three columns that i got we're in the same workspace so it it should match yes excellent um so the other thing i would recommend is of course because it's an interactive report you can declaratively subscribe to this report Oh, yes, exactly. So this is how you do subscription, like usual using the actions button. You can subscribe to this like once a week or once a month. So I recommend that you're, if you're a tech lead or a developer, you do, well, if you're a tech lead, do this in your production environment. No, no harm, right? At least you'll know. Um, but if you're a tech lead, do it. Uh, or if you're a developer, do this in your, your development environment as well. Subscribe to it, get it once a week. You'll only get notified if it's there. Um, so it's great. Yes. It's great. And also what is also great is that we have the create script button. And this is very helpful. Oh, I got an error. But I think that will create this script with all the missing um, uh, indexed, unindexed columns to create the indexes for each column. 
So we will have the Apex page has a bug in it, but the create script button does normally work. I think it's the subscription didn't get fully filled out or something, but yes, so create script will do it. Um, super. Uh, yes. So um, I saw a bit, uh, Rich's query admittedly is a bit better, but this one can you can subscribe to right in the builder. Um, so the, I noticed that there are a few other object reports. You can do the same thing for several of the other object reports that down there at the bottom, you've got tables without primary keys, tables without indexes, tables with foreign keys, triggers, et cetera. So you might want to go through and subscribe to all of those reports. Um, I've got another minute, so I'm going to show another um, little query that I often use, Marwa. Um, I am frequently um, looking for a little bit of code within, I, I know I've written something in the user source. Let's see if we can find some code that's got Marwa in it right there. Um, but more likely, I often have something like to do. So I'll have to do in there. And these are all the things that I have left to do in my code. Um, so another good query that you guys can all run. You can come up with the same kind of thing. That. That's a good query, Anton. But also, let me show you how to do it declaratively. Oh, no way. So in the same section under SQL Workshop Utilities Object Reports, we have the search PL SQL source code. And here I can type the text to do, and we got the list of the to do. And you can subscribe to this as well. If you have the same kind of requirement that, that or the same kind of standard within your environment, you put to do in there, you know that you can go out and, uh, and find all the to do's. Great. Um, so this is a, the, this whole utility, SQL workshop utilities objects reports, I don't know if I had ever been in here before. <laughs> it was actually Neelish Shaw that, uh, that pointed me to this and uh, thank you Neelish for, for this. Um, but uh, I think it's a great little tip and I, I hope people will tell me if they actually find any missing foreign key indexes. Um, if you've done that right now and you want to put a note in the comments, uh, I would love to hear that um, that somebody actually found some missing foreign key indexes. Look at that. We are right at five minutes. Um, so that's all it is. Great. So, well, that's all I have today, Marwa. Anything else for you? Um, it's been great. A great tip that I'm going to use, definitely. All right. Um, well, great. Uh, if you liked the show, like the show. Um, Tell your friends about it. Send a letter to your mom. Let her know it's on Fridays at 12.05 Eastern time. Uh, thanks. Thank you.